Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Product Training Tuesdays. So today I thought I would go over our range of kickstands. Why would you want to use a kickstand on a bike? Mainly because um, maybe you don't want to damage the bike, you don't want to be lying it on the floor, especially if it's a kid's bike. Um, maybe you've got panniers and you have fully loaded panniers and you don't want to rest it up against anything uh, then a kickstand is going to be really beneficial in the fact that you can load your bike up even with it just freestanding uh, and you don't have to damage your saddle anything like that so these are absolutely amazing so we're going to go through the range starting with the kids um, so we're going to talk about the this one here and this is the 100 so this will do 16 inch um, to 24 inch wheel um, so it comes with the attachment so the allen key or you can use a i believe it's a 13 mil on the top with a little bracket generally if the bike comes with a potential bracket in the actual frame itself then you don't need to use this at all because it will sit between the chain stays so with the bracket you can then literally just remove that and then screw it directly into the base so uh, really really easy to fit if you're unsure then take it into store to get it fitted uh, these are 599 you you can adjust the height as well so once you've actually fitted the stand then you can adjust the height make sure that when you turn the handlebars that the bike doesn't fall over if it does fall over then you need to uh, potentially lower or extend the height um, on the stand so uh, very very cool Next we've got the, the tilt, and that's this stand here. So this will only fit the tilt and the Hoptown folding bikes. So this is for a 20 inch wheel. Again, it's adjustable, and that's from the grub screw on the back. So you can adjust the height of its, of its uh, fitting. And it is for the uh, circular chainstay. All right. Next we have the Thronhill, which is the 300. So the 300 will fit most bikes, again with the, the bracket in the middle. Um, most of our Riverside range will have the bracket to allow this to fit. So uh, very, very, very handy. It is a 25 kilo, so it would take a 25 kilo weight on it. And again, you can adjust the leg. I'm just going to fold this. You can adjust the leg with the grub screw on the back to make sure that the height's correct. And again, a nice kickstand. That is $6.99. It comes with a Allen bolt, so you can bolt that directly into the bracket itself. Or if you haven't actually got a stand bracket, then you can use the plate that runs along the, to the two uh, chainstays. So the next one we have is a similar kind of stand but you can probably tell this is a little bit more beefy so uh, this will actually take a load of 35 kilos um, again these are rated 24 to 28 inch wheel um, but again if it's got the bracket you can use the allen or alternatively you can put it between the two chain stays with a plate but uh, again you've got the extendable leg and again that has a grub screw on the back so you can actually adjust the height for the foot. So the foot is actually bigger than the, uh, the previous one, which keeps the, uh, the weight a little bit more, a bit spread, and therefore uh, it'll keep it a bit planted. So uh, much beefier stand. So 35 kilos, that's massive. But uh, next one we have is the chainstay stand. So the chainstay stand will allow 25 kilos of weight to be carried on it. Um, it's best to be used on chainstays that are oblong. So we're talking the ST100 comes with uh, oblong chainstays. So I don't know whether you can see the shape here. It will not work on circular chainstays. So bear that one in mind. The reason being is because as soon as you start to load the bike, then it will start to move and twist round, and then eventually the, the bike will fall over anyway. So if that's the case, if you've got a bike where you're unsure of whether this will fit, then it's probably better if you moved on to our next um, stand, which is this one. So this one is uh, 9.99, as is the, uh, the other one. 
This one is twelve ninety nine, and it's uh, it fits on the chain stay and also feet fits on the seat stay. So you can see it actually fits in two places on the bike. So uh, the reason for that is again to prevent that that stay from or the chain stay. Uh, the stand from twisting around once the actual bike is is on uh, on the stand itself. Again, this is fully adjustable down here with the, the little clip. You can move it up and down for height, so very very handy. But also you can see that the actual fixing there. I don't know whether you can see that properly, but it will actually fit on round chain stays, so uh, and seat stays. So very cool. So that's twelve ninety nine. And then the next one we have is the absolute beast, and that is this one here. So it's the, the double leg central stand, and this will take up to 50 kilograms. So it's huge, but you do need the plate. So you need the central stand plate on the inside of the frame. Again, if you're unsure, then, uh, then I'll try and uh, put a picture up here uh, to show you what I mean. Um, but it can also fit between the chain stays with the plate as well. Um, so very, very handy. Again, the legs are adjustable. So you have the, the little legs here. You can push those in like that. Get it nice and level to the height that you want. So very, very cool. You normally uh, can fit these to most city bikes. Uh, but again, anything with a, uh, a central uh, plate will allow you to fit that. Um, so these are $17.99 um, and they're available all in your stores now. If you have any questions then feel free to stick them in the comments below. Uh, alternatively you can always go into store and ask one of our teammates to, uh, to actually fit these for you. But uh, anyway that's going to be, uh, be it for today. Take it easy guys. Thank you.